What's going on YouTubers? I got a Rattler Easy R here right now. I just wanted to go through some of the stuff that I've done to this. Um, been watching, you know, all the famous YouTubers and what they do. Um, and, and how, you know, there's tons of videos online of people with their Predator motors and Hondas and clones. This is my Honda GX160. Um, what I've done to it. Well, to start off, I can't find anybody else online that has what I have here. Um, it is a double jack, uh, double chain with a, on a jack shaft. Now, this originally came with a centrifugal clutch on the motor and the jack shaft that was belt driven. And then it went to the rear end via chain, um, a 40 roller chain. So what I did was eliminated that. And if I were to pull this off, which I'm not gonna, I got a chain driven centrifugal clutch. Um, with a 23 tooth uh, sprocket on a 5 8 uh, keyed shaft that's here and that seems to be a really good ratio for takeoff um, I know a lot of people just go right to the rear end and you would probably get some more speed that way but I want to be able to go in the woods and climb up hills and such so slotted shaft and you know the jack shaft here and two sprockets it really works well if i wanted to go faster i'd change out this gear to um something smaller but then i'd lose in the, the lower end it's leverage you know um so it's it's uh it, it gets up and goes pretty good there's other videos i'll have posted uh with this you'll probably uh see by subscribing to my page i got a kit off of bmi carts and they um it came with this air cleaner, sleeve, filter, um, this aluminum adapter plate, uh, and all bolts on. The kit was fairly simple. I just cut the uh, ends of the bolts here uh, to shorten it up and put their kit on. Comes a nice little bracket here for the for the uh, choke. This originally had that big ugly uh, air box on here restricting airflow. Um, well, I just noticed <coughs> just now. I got a cracked header pipe, so that's got to be addressed. This fucker's getting crazy hot. Um, I don't know if we can get it to adjust, but there is there is platinum in there. Um, it's like a little cat. I got that off a quad, a um, little 110 cc, and uh, made the pipe uh, myself. Painted it. Uh, it's going to be a vault tech theme if you're a fallout fan uh, you'll know what that's all about still to add decals to it um, i've changed the hubs on the front to uh you know four by 100 hubs uh, and these were some old trailer tires i had laying around one of them's a little warped but it's all right because it's a fucking go cat um, then we have uh i painted it in the metallic blue yellow roll cage one of my favorite things here is the full-size steering wheel that we pulled off of that RAV4. This will be another video for another time. Um, I'll be posting more about this once we, we've had it running. And we've had to redo the front end several times, and now we've got a Miata front end going on it. And bigger tires and such. Things thing is going to be an animal. Um, but that steering wheel out of there, on here, all the difference in leverage diamond plate dash plate 3d printed the uh, bezels run stop lights off to soon be acquired um, drilled and tapped stainless uh, uh, bolts and plate <clears throat> this is just i put on there so i could drive it at night just a flashlight but uh the seat has been reupholstered with jeans my old jeans uh and some black vinyl uh paint the paint that they use uh, you can buy AutoZone or Walmart or wherever for paint. It's uh, held up pretty good. I stretched the jeans around it and tacked them all underneath. Uh, one of my favorite things here is the uh, I left the pants <laughs> pocket here on the back of the pants so you can tuck some tools in there. Uh, that wrench has been in there through quite a few rides, so it's uh, it works. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much it so far. Top speed has been... Uh, about 20 to 23 miles an hour uh, a lot of fun and uh, I'm not in it for that much maybe a hundred bucks 
uh, and paint and, and little kits for the motor. Most of it was just researched online. Um, what I have going here on this five horse is, uh, you know, I had to make my own throttle cable uh, adjustment here um, for all of this. Just a metal bracket welded in to use the two points to keep it in place. Some springs I cut into this here and you can see the linkage that I made to put around the uh, end of the cable here. It's just the screw with the, the adjuster that you can get anywhere and uh, that, uh, that does my throttle really well. Gas was leaking everywhere, sealed it up, the silicone underneath and ran a tube out and uh, it's a lot of fun. So there'll be more videos of this up soon.